Hello children, this is Poonamanti here with another story for you called Specky the Speck of Dust. Specky the Speck of Dust is written by Sadna Aunty and narrated by Poonamanti. Specky was a speck of dust who had been living on Rita's study table for two months. It had found a comfortable spot on Rita's study table and was happy being there all the time. Except when Rita had to do her homework, it would quietly move away from there and go around in the room to say hello to all its friends. Sometimes to the books, sometimes to the toys, sometimes on the dressing table with all the lotions. It would keep finding some spot to be comfortable in and then come back once Rita had finished her homework. All the conversations that the children had, Rita with her friends had, were taken in by Specky. It understood everything. Specky knew that children go to school, that children have to do homework, they have to study. It even knew that they played with toys. It even knew that they loved chocolates and ice creams. But one conversation which Rita had with her friends disturbed Specky. Specky heard Rita saying that her mama loves a clean home. And since mama had been out for two months, she would be back any day. And before that, Rita had to clean up her room. Specky used to wonder, what would happen to me? Where would I have to go? I love this place. I love to be around here. I'm so happy in this home. But it knew that once the room is clean, that would be the end of its stay in Rita's house. One day, when Specky got up in the morning, it looked around and did not find Rita on her bed. I wonder where she has gone today so early in the morning. Then it heard lots of sound outside. Lots of noise. Something was happening as if everybody was laughing and happy. Specky thought maybe Rita's mama is here. That is the end of going to be the end of my stay here, said Specky. Sure enough, in a little while, Rita and her mama entered the room. When mama entered the room, mama was shocked to see Rita's room. She looked at Rita and said, Rita, I'm very disappointed with you. Look at the state of your room. Is this how I have taught you? Why are your clothes on the floor? There are books all over. There are shoes and socks around. Nothing is in place. Your toys are on the floor. Your clothes are on the floor. Is this the way you live? Sorry, Mama, said Rita, who had really planned to clean up before Mama came. Mama was so angry, she said, Rita, I'm going out. I want to see this room cleaned up in one hour. Didn't I tell you, Rita, that you can fall sick if you don't keep clean your room, keep your surroundings clean? The germs will breed in your room. Sorry, Mama. I'll do it right away. 
Rita went outside, picked up a broom and a duster and came in. Mama got busy doing her own things. The first thing that Rita came to was her study table. She took the duster and started dusting the study table. Ah, said the speck of dust, it hurts me. It, I have to hide somewhere. And it flew from there to the books. I have to leave you think in one hour, it thought to itself. Rita picked up the books and started dusting the books. Poor speck of dust jumped from there on the clock. Sat on the clock. Rita brought her duster and started dusting the clock. The speck of dust, specky, went and hid on the pictures. Rita came there and started cleaning up the frames. What should I do? Where should I hide? It went on the dressing table and hid on the cream and the lotion bottles. There also Rita was there cleaning up. Under the table, under the bed. Then it thought, okay, maybe I should go and hide on her bedside stool drawer. It flew there and it found the drawer was shut. This was a Game of hide and seek. Wherever it tried to hide, Rita was there with the duster. Now Specky was crying by now. It was hurting him. And it thought, okay, I can think of a place. I'll go and hide on the window grill. There Rita will not come. Rita came there too. This time, not with her duster, but with her broom because she couldn't reach the window grill with the duster. And the broom was long, so it started dusting with the broom. Poor Specky, what should it do now? Looked around what to do, what to do, and there it found the dustbin. And went and hid in the dustbin. There were lots of his, its friends there too. They were happy to see Specky. But Specky said, I thought I would live here longer. But all the specks of dust said, no, this is not our place to live. We don't belong here, Specky. One day we will have to be in our own spot in the garbage bin that is where we belong. After cleaning the room, Rita went running to her, call her mama. Mama came in and said, I'm so proud of you, Rita. I was so disappointed an hour ago. You will never should forget, you never should forget that you have to keep your surroundings clean. To be healthy, not only yourself clean, but your surroundings clean too. If you don't keep your surroundings clean, you're going to fall sick. Yes, Mama, I'm sorry. I will not do that again. She said, I'm coming back. Mama said, I'm coming back in two minutes. I'm going to empty this little bin of yours into the garbage bin. All the specks of dust, including Specky, went into the garbage bin where it belonged. Rita's mama came back to the room, hugged her little girl and said, I'm going to teach you a poem. Recite this poem after me and remember to say it once a day. If you do that, you will never forget to keep your surroundings clean. Yes, Mama, tell me what is the poem. So Mama recited, The Little Bin. If you see a paper on the ground, don't let it blow around. Pick it up and drop it in. Pop it in the little bin. 
Don't throw your towel on the floor. There's a basket by the door. Pick it up and drop it in. Pop it in the litter bin. Keep your surroundings clean and tidy. Every day including Friday. Pick it up and drop it in. Pop it in the litter bin. So that was the end of the story of Specky, the speck of dust. Children, do remember to keep your, not only yourself, but your surroundings clean all the time. Children, if you like the story, remember to click on the like icon and also subscribe to the channel, Unamanti's channel, so that whenever I post a new video, you will get a notification. Thank you and see you soon with another story.